Moffat Chimalizeni cannot afford to leave his son alone. I do not have peace of mind because I hear they are abducting children like mine. In Malawi, albinos are killed and sold to local witch doctors. Many believe that they hold special powers. The government should work with us chiefs to have the people involved in the abductions reported to police so that they face the law. There has been a recent surge of attacks since December. In light of this, the Malawian government has launched a probe to investigate the killings and arrest the ringleaders of the gangs that abduct and kill albinos. The probe will go on for two months. But in the meantime, there are awareness campaigns to sensitize locals. Uh, I've just finished secondary school and um, I've been selected to the University of Malawi, Chansakolia. So um, my message is that people should, should, should know that an albino can do anything. He, he, can also, he or she can also contribute to the nation in, in one way or the other. Just like me, after my four years at Chancellor College, I'm planning to major in economics so that I can be able to contribute to the economy of the nation. The killing in trade in albino body parts is rampant in Malawi, Mozambique and Tanzania. And the United Nations and other rights organizations are pressuring the governments to put stringent measures to end the murders. Maria Galang, CCTV.